Good day, good friends. Bobo C. Tiberius here with more Black White Martyr Brock. This is a super keepable hand. It doesn't have any early game play, but it does have the removal. And if we pick up a land that we can use with Crucible Worlds, we won't have any problem getting to all these big payoff spells. So we're very happy with it, very thankful, and uh, excited to see what we're up against. No companion, which is a good sign for us. Opponent starts with an overgrown tomb, shocks it into play, and inquisitions us. Uh, like uh, They can take whatever they like here. I'll be interested to see what they take. I don't think I have the answer. My gut would say path or ranger cap, but it's possible we, we lose the crucible. Possible they're afraid of what we could do with Heliod. Um, I would actually think I actually think the thing I'm happiest to lose would be the here would be the Heliod. So we'll see. Maybe the fact that Ranger can get Ballista, if they know that, maybe that'll scare them into taking the Heliod. It's a tough decision, though. I don't think there's a right answer. I would have to have really intimate knowledge of their hand. They do take the Ranger, so yeah, I think that's usually the right call. And we get the Field of Ruin, so... That's very good because my instinct is that this is Jund or a Shadow List, which will not run very many lands, so that Crucible becomes very good. We see Mishra's Bobble. No Luris, though. Maybe Luris is in the main? Like, just not as a companion? I'm very, very happy with the Crucible into Field of Ruin here. They crack Bauble. Polluted Delta for a Thought Seize. So hopefully I don't lose my Crucible here. That would I would be upset about that. But it makes sense. It makes sense for them to take my Crucible, absolutely. There's a chance they take Ranger as well. It's interesting. Whether or not they take the Crucible gives me insight as to how good the Crucible is. They take the Path. Okay. Um, yeah. That makes a lot of sense. And if they're... If they're ready to start casting creatures. Let's see if they have a, an Abrupt Decay or a... Uh, um, Assassin's Trophy to deal with this Crucible. They need to. They didn't crack on our instep, so they have to crack here and shock it in if they want to use it. I have no problem with them not playing stuff. That's perfectly okay with me. I do like that Winds of Abandon since they got rid of my path. I can use that for removal or I can... Um, wait until we crucible out, crucible them out and use it as, a, um, as an opportunity to wrath their board. Let's see if they have a Fatal Push for this. They do. Next turn, we can play Ranger, which I like, unless they have more discard spells. They still don't crack their Polluted Delta. I'm very confused by why they haven't cracked that yet. Now they go out of their way to crack it. Let's see what they go get. So we've got like a Sultai type list here, Traverse. So Sultai Shadow? 
Street Wraith, yep. So we're definitely looking at a Death Shadows type list. What I like is that if they cast Shadow here, um, we can Winds of Abandon and Field of Ruin. I guess we can't do those on the same turn necessarily, which is a bit of a bummer. We do want to keep that blue source tapped while we kill this uh, Death Shadow. Oh, wonderful, actually. That's perfect. Now we can Field of Ruin. And completely blow them out of lands. So let's cast this. Have them go get it. what we hope is their last basic. We'll see. But we're getting rewarded here for them not taking the Crucible. And it was their last basic, so now they're completely off of blue, which is... Blue is usually what makes Death Shadow kill us. So we're very happy about that. Next turn, we're going to Ranger into Kami and Ballista and go for it. while also ghost quartering them off of their these two lands. They Assassin's Trophy. That was that was ex to be expected. We can still ghost quarter them off of black though. We get a martyr. So let's start here. And I'm actually gonna play Martyr and Heliod. instead of the ranger this time. That way we can ranger into Ballista, get Kami, and be pretty cleared out here. We can also put um, a counter on ranger if we so choose. Like, we have a lot of different options in terms of cracking Martyr. Or they're at 9 life, we can just start hitting them. Verdict Catacombs for our opponent. Traverse. To get a Death Shadow, they'll crack it right away. Watery Grave. For a 7-7 seven, seven Shadow? Yeah, 7-7 seven, seven Shadow. I like that Marsh Flats. That Marsh Flats allows us to go off with Ballista unless they have a discard spell. We will get the Kami here. Let's actually fetch. Um, I guess they don't have a way to give it Trample, so I'm fine leaving this up. They need to kill me this turn, and I don't think they can. We will block, activate to gain three. We will put the counter on Ranger. And they do have the Inquisition to get our Ballista. Womp womp. We, they're still very close to dead, though. Oh, and now we did what they did, not cracking our Marsh Flats. So I will play Kami. Give Ranger lifelink. and get in. So now they have to leave that Death Shadow up. Actually going to put the counter on Kami here. 
because they have to leave Death Shadow up, and then we attack, and they can't block both. Now let's actually crack our Marsh Flats. I will crack it for a Miss Veil Plains this time around to put Ballista back in the deck. We get a Soren. I really like that Soren, actually. Because it allows us to not even care about what they're doing over there. We just kill them in two turns here. While also putting counters on our creatures. Let's see if they have the ability to stop us. Yeah, they do. So they push. So they will kill our Soren, unfortunately. Heliod will get the counter. Ah. Oh, it's not letting me put it, target it, because it can only target Heliod. Got it. Got it, got it, got it. I am bummed to lose that Soren. Oh, and I didn't even miss fail planes properly. Oh no, that was bad. The good news is they're stuck on mana unless they top deck a the shock land. I would love to see a Myria here since we have the the lands for it. Otherwise, we're gonna die pretty quickly here. And there's a Goyf to to facilitate that even more so. Ranger cap works. So what we'll do here is I think that just wins us the game. It's close. It actually doesn't. Oh no, it does because we can go get we can just go get ballista and then shoot them for one. Big ups to Crucible for allowing us to steal that one. So, I love Celestial Purge here. I There's a part of me that does like Camball, but doesn't like Camball. Like, in situations like that, they can't play any removal spells because they just die. But it also makes Death Shadow bigger. So, I, I'm going to bring it in. Um... But I'm a little nervous about it. We'll see. I do like Sorcerer Spyglass in case they have um, walkers. Usually these decks have walkers. Uh, Winds of I like Winds of Abandon over Cleansing Nova here. I do have to be careful with Wraths, though, because they just have usually have the counter spells to deal with them. Um, going to get rid of Weathered Wayfarer. And then the cuts become a little difficult. I like Soren here, but not in threes. Uh, Wrath of God is fine. Maybe I don't bring in the Campbells. What do I cut for the Campbells becomes the question. Um, yeah, I think I would have to cut, start cutting Orzhov Charm, and I really like Orzhov Charm here. And do I submit a 61? Or do I? Let's cut a ring. Actually, let's cut a Sarah. Just because it's rare that we will be at the life total where Sarah makes sense for us. I like this. I like this a lot. Hmm. Not huge on this hand. Um, we don't have any way to answer their stuff, but we do have ways to gain lots of life. And pay off cards for gaining that life. Um, we don't have a way to cast that ranger immediately. 
Hmm. This is tough. This is tough. I think we mull this. I think we mull this and try to see a better six. Yeah, and this is a this is a definitely a better six. So we'll get rid of the. Let's get rid of the Sarah send it since we have the ranger to fetch it. Good chance we get inquisitioned here and they take the Heliod, but Street Wraith. Crack Catacombs. Into an Inquisition. Okay. Yeah, I'll take a Martyr. It's not great here, but it will gain us some life and block. So, we're not... It doesn't break hard to have it. Bobble for our opponent. Traverse. For a Swamp. For a thought sees. Do they take the Wrath or the Ranger? I'll be interested. They do take the Ranger. But they don't have blue, so we can Wrath them. Let's see if they have a way to get blue. If they traversed, I don't think they do. And we have the Field of Ruin. That stops them, so... I'm pretty happy with the way this is going, considering they only have four cards left in hand. It's unlikely we will get our Wrath countered as long as we can cast it. Pete Land. I mean, I'm... Yeah, I kind of want to kill that Pete Land right away. I'll take five. Yeah, I definitely think it makes sense to kill that peatland. We can handle that Tarmogoyf. Ranger Cap. Ranger Cap makes it that much easier to handle that Tarmogoyf. No more card draw. Stop drawing cards. They tap it just to gain some, just to lose some life. I don't see them playing anything with that black source. Goyf is going to hurt us until we get blockers down. That's real. Traverse. If they go get a Goyf, they can play it right away. And that puts us under their thumb pretty hard. They get a Polluted Delta. That's the second time they've had to traverse for lands. We're, we're happy about that. Ooh. That gives us an out, actually. So what I can do now is block twice with Martyr and gain 12 life and then 12 life and play Sarah. So we have a way to, to kind of get through them. Watery Grave for our opponent. They put it in tapped. So they're not as interested in losing life. I still think you. I, 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 I wonder if shocking that in is the right call or not. I, 
with I've never really played Death Shadow that much, but I feel like I even if I don't have a shadow pr presently, I still want to play as if I'm going to cast one. Big money, no whammies here. For Luris. Hi, Luris. And Bobble. Would really like to be able to go land Wrath here after that. I don't want them to get too many Bobbles off. Purge works. Purge works actually better. We will lose some life here, but that's all right. That's a good stubborn denial. That's a real good stubborn denial. I don't want to lose too much life here. Stubborn now is such a pain of, of a butt card. It's what really makes the Death Shadow deck have a lot better time with us. And now they're going to Thought Seize my Wrath. They, this is going pretty well for them, if I'm being honest. This is not going as well for us as it is for them. So we'll go down to 25 here. Yeah, a lot harder to beat them through this many baubles. And another goif. We really, really wanted to to have that wrath. It's gonna be hard for it, and and now we we get the land we want it. So what I'll do here is I will play Ranger Cap, grab Kami. Yeah, that makes sense. Let's get let's get a Kami into the graveyard for when we ors off charm and such, or draw Soren. If they attack with Luris, though, I will trade it to Ranger Cap. To stop them from drawing so many cards. And they're not going to worry about that at all. So let's push. Let's uh, sack it then. Hmm. Not a lot we can draw that count. That really classifies as an out here. It's got to be land, wrath spell. And now we're throwing Martyr out just to stay alive. Yeah, this one has really gone their way. So they can, they have us on a two turn clock. Oh, and we cut the Celestial. Uh, the Cleansing Nova, too. Mm. Well, that... In hindsight, that was a mistake. Even though they can counter it. So now we need to draw exactly land... Winds of Abandon. And it needs to be immediate. Yeah, we're just going to concede here. We don't have any outs. Um, so I guess, yeah, bring that Cleansing Nova back in and cut a Sarah for it. Sarah doesn't really do us much good. Still leaving the Camballs out. I guess... Actually, Camball stops Misha's Bobble pretty well. Let's 
cut a big ranger for it and one more Soren for it. Campbell stops Misha's bobble. Or it doesn't stop it, it punishes it. Um, I don't hate this hand. It gets rip, ripped apart pretty quickly by a thought seize, by thought seizes, but so does most hands. If they have more than one discard spell, we can't mull around that. Let's see, Inquisition takes Winds of Abandon, and then Thought Seize takes Soren. Inquisition might take Spyglass. And we'll start with Marsh Flats here. And pass. Sorry about the kind of stall there. Polluted Delta for our opponent. A lot of Mishra's baubles. Opponent plotting out their next plays. And they crack Polluted Delta to go get a Watery Grave, shock it in, and discard spell? No, disc no discard spell. So far, so good for us. Thought Scour. And they drop a Death Shadow and a Tarmacoif into their graveyard. I'm okay with that. We will not shock in a godless shrine here. I will go fetch for a basic so I can take a peek at their hand and kill something and kill an activated ability. They Street Wraith. And show us a Verdant Catacombs, a Watery Grave, a Traverse, a Stub, a Snapcaster, and a Lurus. 
I want to be greedy and name that bird in Catacombs, but I think I'll name the Bobble. Um, hmm. We do have the ability to kill Luris here, but I think I want to just name the Bobble. Because no matter what, they will get to cast that Lurus, and I don't want them getting Bobble even once. That hand seems like a hand we can beat until they draw a better creature. Traverse. to get a Death Shadow, play Death Shadow. No way to counter the Winds of Abandon I'm about to cast, so. Love that Orzhov charm. The unfortunate thing here is with Luris, that Death Shadow and that Tarmogoyf become a lot better for them. So what, what I want them to do is I want them to cast Luris this turn with Watery Grave tapped so we can Orzhov Charm it. Doesn't look like they'll go that route, though. I guess we can still Orzhov Charm it because they won't have the creature they need for, stub for Stubborn Denial. And even better, I, I, I like pathing it a lot more than I like Orzhov Jarming it. This isn't going badly for us so far. Snapcaster Mage, targeting what? Thought Scour? Traverse. Okay. And they'll play that Death Shadow right away. And we'll go get a Mistvale Plains. I'm cool with that Ranger Cap. Play Kami here so we can stop them from dealing damage. I'll take 7 and go down to 10. Yeah, part of me is okay with that. Nah, I think this is the better call. That way we don't immediately have to Soren back Kami. Fifth land, which is very necessary here. I'm going to go get Martyr. And play Martyr. I like having Martyr around for Soren as well. They dismember our Ranger Cap. They don't pay life for it, though. I guess if you don't need to pay life, why bother, right? Opponent does have a bevy of cards right now. We'll block and we'll activate.
Mistvale Plains, so now we can officially play any Wrath spell we draw. They do stubborn deny our Soren. Okay. That is a stubborn denial that's not cast on a wrath, so. Seven damage coming in on us here. Another Orzhov charm for us. Let's see if we can get another stubborn to now off of him. I'm going to go get the martyr because we actually gain one life that way. Blood Crypt. So this is four color shadow. Okay. That's a little scarier. Another land. Not really doing us any favors right now. Let's see if they have a an answer to this. They do not. Which means they're either holding back their stubborn denial for if we draw a wrath, or they don't have the stubborn or they don't have the stubborn denial. And I think it's the former, not the latter. One, two, three, four, five, six. Hmm. So we can play that as a three, three. But we can't kill them with it. We can kill their, we can block and then kill their Snapcaster. Hmm. <laughs> I really don't like that they have access to red all of a sudden. So we will kill their Snapcaster and then shoot them. Actually, if I shoot them, Death Shadow becomes bigger. So let's not shoot them. You have to make your Death Shadow bigger your own self. Or just team or battle rage here. That works too. So yeah, that's uh, in another video. I was talking about how uh, Death Shadow is usually more grindy. That was an that was evidence of it. Let's take a peek. See, we wouldn't have drawn an answer for a while. So yeah, no, wouldn't have drawn drawn our outs for a while. I will see you in the next one.